Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good morning. The following statement represents the current scientific evidence on prevention and treatment of HIV AIDS and Hepatitis C as it relates to the reduction of harm from injecting drug use. And I also have seven bullet points. One, sharing of injection equipment is strongly associated with the risk of acquiring HIV and Hepatitis C and their ongoing spread. Criminalization of drug use, restrictive drug policies, and incarceration are further key drivers of HIV and Hepatitis C epidemics among people who inject drugs. Two, there is compelling evidence that needle syringe programs and opioid substitution therapy together are effective in reducing the sharing of injecting equipment and in averting HIV infections. In combination with antiretroviral therapy, they reduce HIV transmission, decrease mortality, reduce drug dependency, reduce crime and public disorder, and improve quality of life. Three, harm reduction interventions are very cost effective. They're part of the WHO, UNODC, and UNAIDS recommended package of services for people who inject drugs adopted by the CND in 2009 and 2013. However, the coverage of harm reduction programs is currently far too low across almost all regions of the world to effectively prevent the spread of HIV and hepatitis C. Four, incarceration of people who use drugs increases their vulnerability to HIV and hepatitis C. We need to stop incarceration of people who use drugs for minor nonviolent drug-related offenses. Laws and policies should also ensure that the rights of people who inject drugs in prisons to access harm reduction and health care are respected and compulsory centers for drug users are ineffective in reducing drug use, are inhumane and need to be closed. Five, harm reduction services for women should be tailored to meet their special needs, including their need for reproductive health services. Women who use drugs and also sell sex are particularly at particularly elevated risk for HIV. Six, we need to reform all laws and policies that hinder access to harm reduction. There is an urgent need to realign harm reduction and law enforcement approaches to support prevention and treatment of HIV AIDS and hepatitis C among people who inject drugs. And seven, hepatitis C is a rising cause of severe liver disease and premature death among people who inject drugs and represents a growing public health, social, and economic burden, hepatitis C treatment services urgently need to be integrated into harm reduction services. Thank you for your attention.